Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to cover how to get uh, larger amounts of information out of attribute tables and into Excel. So the previous video, we talked about how to get uh, real quick uh, d numbers from just a couple of uh, variables or across a couple of decades. In this case, one variable across three different decades. But let's say um, you know there are several variables in each decade uh, in the same attribute table that you would like to get. Uh, one way to do that um, for a small amount of records, and typically my, my threshold for my computer is about less than 10,000 uh, rows so uh, or individual records. So let's open up an attribute table. I happen to know that in this case, if we look down here at the bottom, that there's less than 10,000 because there's a, a roughly 5,500 and some records or rows in this attribute table for 1990. And so what I can do is go to this top left at the table options with the drop down arrow there, and then we can select all. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to simply go to that first row that actually has data, not the field column headings, but the one with the actual data and go over to the far left where there are gray boxes and right click. Now I can copy my selected. Then what I want to do is I want to jump over to my Excel document, have a brand new clean sheet, and I can simply uh, control V or I could go up to paste button here at the top. And either way, having that first one selected, I could just paste documents and that data will uh, be transferred over. Now, it's a large amount of data to copy and paste, so it will take a little bit of time. But here you can see um, some information has jumped in, and now we have all of our data in here. So not only can we uh, use our population per square mile like we did in a previous video or previous examples, but we also have our other fields in here as well if we need to compare different things. Um, is a way of having it in Excel. Now I use Excel for this kind of stuff because it's a lot faster and cleaner than uh, doing it in ArcMap. Um, you can create graphs and charts in there but they're not always the greatest looking and you don't have a lot of flexibility uh, in communicating that information. And so in this case I do prefer to have Excel. That concludes this video. Thanks!